Hello, I'm Ben with Start to Finish TV. Today, I want to talk to you about why I sold my C200. People have been asking, they've not, but people have been asking why I got rid of my professional cinema line camera and downgraded technically to a mirrorless camera. See, I don't see it as a downgrade, I see it as an upgrade because you should have seen the size of the C200. And when you compare it to this, the Lumix S52X, they're tiny. Well, the main reason I decided to change systems was because I wanted to be able to do photo and video and having to take a separate camera to do photos and then having a massive camera to do video just was a pain in the ass. I'll be quite frank with you, it was, it were a right pain. And also the C200 was massive and heavy, which was one of the main driving factors is I was shooting in a corporate gig in Preston and I wanted to get a shot over the crowd of people. So I stood there like this and I could just feel my arms going because it was so heavy. That was the first thing that got me thinking about it. And then I was shooting a music video for Geo Mac and the card corrupted. I don't know whether it corrupted or whether it was just being plain silly buggers because it clearly didn't corrupt, but it was saying that it were unreadable, it wouldn't do anything. I tried to turn it off, turn it on again, and it were, weren't doing anything. So I'm like, shit. So I ended up managing to save the shoot by using the SD cards that were in the camera. However, then the next day, I'd already reached out to ProGrade support. Um, they sent me a new memory card. And then the next day, after I'd literally clicked it, so I thought, oh, I'll just try it, plugged it in, and it read it on the computer. So I'd, I had tried it on the computer previously as well. So it's not just a case of it was just the camera messing up, but they were the main two driving factors. And then I was doing my research. I'd, I'd seen the two S52X. I was thinking about it, I'm like, I, I really like the blacked out design, and I get that that's a bit sad. However, I like it. So I pulled the trigger. I bought one from Wex Photography. I bought that with the 20 to 60 lens and the 50 mil lens, but I've sold both of those because they weren't great. I mean, the 50 mil wasn't so bad, but I got rid of them. And also it had cash back on it. That was another thing. Um, and then after I got the first one, I was like, right, okay, I like this. So, that's what drove me to sell the C200 because I shot a wedding and I used the Lumix camera and it was so much easier. Then I shot another wedding and I used the C200 as a B camera. So, and then that's when I decided, right, I need another 2X. I bought that from Panamos. I got it for like 1,800, which is pretty decent. I'm quite happy with my decision. I like the ability to do the full sensor readout, which although I found out the other day that this is only 420, which is what the T200 did in its MP4, it's fine, it's not the end of the world, especially for like YouTube. The main thing I miss from the C200 is the raw video. I don't miss the massive files that you got from it, but I miss that flexibility, but it gives me a challenge to then make sure I get it right in camera which you should always try and do anyway. I could do a raw out the Lumix, however, I'd need to buy a Atomos Ninja 5 or a Blackmagic Video Assist, which I don't fancy doing because I don't really use the, I don't really use external monitors. I, I use the little screen on the side. Although having the screen on the side is mildly annoying because the cable for the SSD is actually in the way. Basically, I like to complain about everything. But overall, I'm happy with my decisions so far. If you want to see a review on the S52X, be sure to let me know down in the comments and leave a like on this video if you want to see that. That is something I can work on. If you also have any other suggestions, leave them down in the comments as well because I want to make the content that you people want to see. Nobody's watching this, but oh well. So yeah, I've been Ben with Start to Finish TV and I'll see you in the next video.